A family's love for swimming has them taking on a big water challenge. I was originally scared of the critters. Swimming the English Channel in hopes of giving Metro Detroit children a chance to learn this life-saving skill. So the challenge started as a joke for the Slavonia <laughs> brother and sister. Their aunt swam the English Channel. Some joke. Swimmers themselves, they joked that it would be fun. Well, she took them seriously and then signed them up. And they agreed to do it as a way to benefit children who don't know how to swim. Swimming has been just a really large part of my life uh, ever since I was little. Nick and Colleen Anthony have grown up swimming. Summers at the pool, swim teams, underwater hockey in college. I think it's a life skill that everyone should know how to do, uh, especially in Michigan. We have so many lakes around here. Colleen is a swim coach at Franklin High School. I really just started doing open water after high school. So I did a couple triathlons here and there, and then just started doing open water swimming. So I've swam um, in the British Virgin Islands. I've done a couple 5K lake swims. So it's a way for me to kind of stay swimming, but in a different way. Their aunt, Sarah Marley, has completed the triple crown of open water swimming, swimming around Manhattan Island, the Catalina Channel off the coast of California, and the English Channel from England to France. She's our inspiration for doing this, you know. She, she's done the relay and the solo. So just to kind of, you know, get out there and try a few things that, you know, she's done, it's really exciting. We caught up with Colleen and Nick at Botsford Park in Livonia, where they snuck in one more swim together before crossing the pond. They've been training since January to swim the English Channel in a relay with their Aunt Sarah. It's kind of scary, you know, swimming in the middle of the ocean. I was originally scared of the critters. The water's really cold. The water around a chilly 64 degrees. Nick started the 21 mile or more relay off the shore of Dover, England, each of them swimming an hour at a time. The Channel Swimming Association is the organization that puts all these on, and they have some rules, so you're not allowed to wear a wetsuit. It's kind of part of the challenge. So just regular swimsuits, um, a cap, goggles, and then they do have like uh, a balm that you can put on your skin to kind of insulate, but it's really just kind of, you know, the bare bones necessities of swimming. <laughs> this is Colleen picking up the pace because of the surrounding jellyfish. And you literally just swim until your hour's up, and then you have to crawl out on the boat yourself. No one can help pull it or anything like that. So it's completely unassisted. Braving the waters of the channel and all the creatures that live in it, so worth it for Colleen, Nick, and their Aunt Sarah. I think it's just a really important skill to have, uh, not just for life, but for your own safety. The family swam it as a fundraiser for Detroit Swims, the nonprofit that teaches children in Detroit to swim for free. I don't think it's something that people necessarily think about, but um, there's seven out of 10 kids in Detroit that don't know how to swim. And the problem is they just don't have either the finances or access to pools in order to, to do that. So I just think it's, um, um, something that people aren't really very aware of, and so we're hoping to kind of raise awareness of that. With each stroke they took, they hope to remind everyone to be thankful they know how to swim and consider providing the resources to teach those who don't. In 13 hours and 40 minutes, and now Colleen is about to take it in. Reaching Le Petit Blanc France in 13 hours and 46 minutes. It's awesome. Uh, I couldn't imagine like going and doing this by myself, um, but going and doing it with my family, especially with Colleen, who um, we've, we've been really close our, our whole lives, and it's just another adventure that we get to go off on together. What an adventure it was. All the money raised will go directly to Detroit Swims, and we put a link to their CrowdRise fundraiser on our website at clickondetroit.com. Also, if we could, quick thank you to the Channel Swimming Association. They're the ones who provided pictures of their journey for us. And no wetsuit. All of that with the yes. bare minimum. Yes, oh which goodness. would help with both the temperature and the jellyfish a little oh, the bit, too. The jellyfish, you're Tough. right. Yes. Congratulations. Very impressed around here. Yeah.